What is up? How you doing, bro? Hey, man. Just another day in the life. Another day. I'm pretty excited about today. Super exciting day. Super exciting. First things first, though. Check out these shirts. Woo! Look at this. New Sunshine State Tattoo Tyler Nolan Joe Exotic shirts. How freaking hilarious is that, right? So funny. Now, they started off as a joke. It was my birthday in April, and uh, one of my buddies, he made a funny little meme, photoshopped my name on Joe's, uh, on Joe's face. I thought it was hilarious. So everybody, I posted it, everybody was like, oh my God, you should make shirts like that. And I was like, nah, that's stupid. I'm not gonna make shirts like that. The more I thought about it, the more people that asked for it. Boom, here you go, guys. I made it happen, bro. We got some shirts. So, if you're interested, go down below, right below this little video. There's gonna be a link at the bottom that goes to Teespring. Order one from Teespring. They come in all different sizes. Order two. Order two, order three, order whatever you want. There's kid sizes. There's toddler sizes, there's all sorts of sizes. From like X, X, from extra small to I think like 5XL. So we got all of you guys covered. So go check out these shirts. But what I'm really ready to do is get on the road. We're about to go head down to Miami. We got some new snakes coming in today that I am really, really, really excited about. We're getting mambas today. Yes, green has come. mambas. The day has come. I remember from the beginning of this video, everybody on, I feel like any video that we make, people comment all the time. They're like, hey, why don't you have any mambas? I just, they haven't been available, number one. Chandler has two yeah, black I mean, mambas. I mean, these, these aren't You know what mambas, I mean? So. Yeah, that's a very, very, very dangerous snake. And I don't know if I'm getting babies today or juveniles or what. I heard they're like a year to two years old. So I don't really know the size. We got a cage set up in the room for them already. But we're just heading out of here right now. We're gonna go head down south and pick these bad boys up. That freaking look at that roof, bro. She, that thing is tight, super tight. You know what I was just thinking though? What's that? How many people in the world right now you think are driving to go get a green mamba? I mean, oh, actually, we're getting six green mambas. I would say at most five people in the world. You think? You think I it's think, that little? I think I definitely think it's like maybe like under under 10, under 20 uh, right no now way in the world. Above 15. Picking green in the whole world. I don't feel like that's a very common thing. It's nice nighttime in Africa right now, so they're probably not doing mama yeah, stuff. Yeah, and then, for sure. So yeah, five. Who knows? Well, we're five almost there. Go pick these things up. I'm pretty freaking excited. Pumped. Yeah. Check this out. There's the ring calls right there. A little sneak peek real fast before we drive back home and then get these guys out. We got one, two, three. Four, five, six green mambas up in this freaking truck right now. So let's, uh, we're gonna safely secure these guys in the truck. We're gonna head back to the house, take these guys out and show you guys a little closer. All right, we're back. First things first, I'm gonna take out this rain calls. We'll get a little closer look at this guy. See how he is doing. Now, South African snakes. I don't, go, I don't know who saw the video before of when I got the pair in from Dingo originally. One of them, unfortunately, did not make it. So, Dingo was kind enough, Dingo and Steve, thank you very much, to send me another one. So this one is nice and hearty. So now, we're gonna go ahead and just gonna carefully, uh, how the heck do you do this here? There we go, all right now. So we're just gonna rip. Wow, what an awesome looking snake. Check this out. Like, dude, these things are so freaking cool, man. Let's get all this, all this nonsense out of here and get him right on top of here so we can get a nice good look at him. Look at that, though. Look at the head on this thing. They're such cool freaking cobras, right? Badass. Hey, man. Why don't you come over here? Come over this way. Such a cool snake. Oh, nice. I want to try to get him. Stop uh, waving your hand real quick. Let's try to get him to turn around my way so you can see the back of this snake's hood. There we go. Whoa, you see that? Sprayed all over me. That was a really good one. Whoa. Dude, this thing means business. Crazy. Dude, I'm getting soaked with venom right now. Insane. You see how beautiful the back of that hood is? So crazy, right? Alright, 
she is not happy at all. He, sorry, this is a male. The female is the one that I already have. So we already got a cage set up earlier today. So we're just gonna go ahead, get this snake in its new home. Boom, just like that. Safely uh, close this cage. I'm getting soaked with venom, man. Dude, this snake has spit all over me. Holy crap, look at that. Soaked. All right, I'm gonna go wash all this venom off me and let's play with these mambas. All right. The moment everybody has been waiting for today, especially me. Dude, it's been a very, very long time since I have had mambas in my possession. The last one I had was maybe six or seven years ago. It was a bright green Jameson mamba that I got from a buddy of mine. I had it for a few years and then I traded it I don't remember what the heck I traded it for. I think I traded it for a couple spectacles or something. I don't remember. But anyways, I haven't had one in a while. Um, a lot of you guys on the channel, they're all, you're always like, how come you don't have a mamba, blah, blah, blah. No real particular reason why I haven't kept mambas in the past, just that they're not really something that you see available all the time. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm never super into mambas. Like, I'm a cobra guy, and then I got really big into rattlesnakes. Mambas are awesome, but I was just never really got more into, like, the mambas and boom slangs and things like that. But they're still very, very impressive animals. Super, super fast. Insane venomous. Let's try to see if we can, uh, let's get this guy out of here safely, all right? So we're just gonna pop that top off just like this, okay? Now, Dingo told me that these guys are not that crazy. They're a little bit more on the mellow side, which is really cool. So let's try to uh, just safely, I wanna go nice and slow with these guys, you know what I mean? They're very springy. They climb through trees, insane speeds. Very, very fast, smart, agile animals. So I want to be very, very careful. I'm going to go nice and slow with this guy. Try not to make him crazy. What a cool snake, man. All right, here we go. This guy is, he's, he's looking around, bro. He's on the move. So I'm going to get him in this cage before he starts to get all crazy now. Look at that. Dude, such a badass thing, dude. Bright green. So now we always have to make sure with these guys, they're very slender snakes, so you make sure this freaking cage has to be super, super escape proof. I, mean, I gotta go over these exoterras also because the other ones are a little bit smaller. Bro, imagine that thing getting loose, dude. In Florida, that's another reason, another, probably one of the main reasons why I don't keep mambas. Just because, I mean, the cobras and stuff, they're a little bit easier to deal with. Um, like, if they were to get out, easier to find. Dude, if a mamba were to get out, that's really, really bad, bro. Like, they can climb up into everything, up trees, into little holes in your attic, and you're everywhere. So it's just like, dude, I just, I never, imagine having all these animals in your house, you know what I mean? And, like, sleeping well at night. Sometimes, you know, I have crazy-ass dreams. So sometimes I'll be like, oh, my God. Did I close the cage? Or did I do this? Or did I, you know what I mean? Like, dude, it's, it's like, it gives you anxiety sometimes. So you want to be very careful with that. So, all right, on to the next one. Number two. Let's get this off real fast. Just like that. Now I'm just gonna crack it open just a tiny little bit. Her head is right there. This is the female. Just want to take it nice and slow. Back up just like this. Just make sure everything goes nice and smoothly. She is a little bit smaller than the male. Yeah, you can see, way more petite. Let's try to get that little, uh, try to get that little freaking paper towel off there. Let's see here. Gotta go nice and slow with these guys. You don't want them spazzing out. Nice little female. Of course, they're gonna ride the hook. They love to ride hooks. Go, 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 go. Go like this. All right, let's try this again. See how I have one side open? Already checked this cage to make sure there's no holes or anything. The top is nice and secure. No little places for the snake to escape. They're very slender snakes, like I said before about the other one. So you wanna make sure everything is nice and tight. They can't push through anything or escape anyway, because dude, ain't trying to have 
any mamba escapes up in this snake room. That is not fun at all. All right, so check these. These are Chandlers. So this is the male that Chandler got. Beautiful green. Super, super pretty on that one. And then his female. Almost the same size. You can see they're super lethargic right now just from just from all the transportation and stuff. But Chandler's on his way here right now. He's going to be here in like an hour or so. So we're not going to bother. Maybe I'll put him in the video later. We'll, we'll see how that goes. And then these are for my buddy Ryan. See these little tiny baby mamas? Don't mind the messy deli cups right now. Obviously, they just got shipped in. So they're all kind of dirty. But he also got these way smaller dudes. And I was going to set these up. Ryan is in California right now. He's not going to be back for a few weeks. I was going to set them up in one of these exoterras, but we just found a good size hole in the screen. So I'm definitely not doing that. It's a real good thing we didn't put them in there and find that hole later because that would not be cool. Dude, imagine these tiny, tiny little guys loose in your place. Even, in, even this being an escape-proof room, trying to find this tiny little snake in this snake room, dude, would be a nightmare. Like, not, I'm just not signing up for that. So, we're just gonna leave them in here. And that is a wrap. That's some crazy shit, man. Killed it. Again, shirts. Buy them up. Teespring, down below, under this video. Go down there, go click on the little things, click on the shirts, click on your sizes, click on your PayPal, and blah, 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 you know? Pay the man, get the shirt. It's pretty tight. Extremely. For, for fun. Extremely. I have a couple more on the way. Just working on some things. Been Everything's been pretty crazy lately. But on to different things i'm diving on thursday so dive video coming up shortly pepe ain't gonna be here though i'm gonna dive without you i am trying Sucks. to not be upset because i'm not here so what do you not... gotta go home for a wedding or something yeah well, dumb little wedding. your cousin or something yeah what ah, he's so selfish cousin wedding getting married on, Dude, the, why? on the a weekend where i can be weather's diving. really nice here why do you gotta go do that trust me <sighs> oh well well till next time guys thanks for watching Got green mambas. <laughs> Things are about to get crazier in here. Yeah. They're fast. They are intense. Really fast. Intense, snakes. Yeah. I mean, dude. Yeah. Fast. I don't, see, I don't know why Ch Chandler like, loves his mambas. And, and, dude, they're just... You see Chandler's videos with his mambas. It's freaking crazy every time. Yeah, that's a big snake, dude, too. It is. Yeah, Allison. Forget Shh. all that crap. I'm good. I'm just going to stick with my little green guys. Yeah. So, all right. Till, till next time, guys. Peace out. Stay safe.